So right now we are in the chat room itself. We are done with every other single thing we need to do in order to make sure that the user can be able to log in and as well register. So there are some couple of things I need to bring in from native base that we're going to be making use of these in only the chat room. So the chat room is not going to be much. It's just that it's going to link up everything we've done so far, both for the API and also for our React Native application. First up is the container. I'm going to bring in content. I'm going to bring in the text, the list item, also the list itself. I'm going to bring in the left body, the right, the thumbnail, and also the footer. And I'll show the title, the inputs, and we to also bring in the button, the header. So these are the list of the components that we are going to be making use of from native base. So the next thing is to bring in our actions. So if you can recall, we created a lot of actions while we started earlier in one of the videos. So we can you can see the chat actions. So we are going to be making use of uh, the chat actions uh, methods that you see, like the join chat room, the load messages, the join chat room, the send message. So these are all the things that we are going to be making use of. So I'm going to be importing a couple of them from, uh, we need to go back to folder, go into the actions itself, and I'm going to make reference to the chat actions. So the first one is the load messages. That's going to load all our messages. The second one is the join chat room. The third one is the disconnect. But for the disconnect, I'm, not, I'm just going to leave it for now. Oh, let me just leave it. Uh, the last one is the send message. That's going to be sending our messages. So we, we can't make use of that. We still need to connect them just like we did for the logout. So come over here, we need that. We have the load messages, we have the join chat room, we have the disconnect, we also have the send message. So nothing is gonna happen now because we are not making use of any of them. So the first one is to load our messages. So whenever we want to load our messages, we are going to make use of the load message uh, action. So it's just very simple uh, to make sure that our user is logged in. And this is gonna fire up whenever our component did mount. Component did mount. Uh, I think something is wrong, or I used it before. Okay, I used component did mount. So it's going to be an assign function because we need to grab, we need to make use of the assign storage and get uh, the user and also the token because we, we are going to be sending these two things to the server itself. So let's check uh, over here. You can see the token itself. We need it and also we need the user. So for the load messages. So we need the token and also we need the name. That's the username, I guess. Mm. Okay, for this one is going to emit load message okay it's going to emit get messages okay we are not going to be uh sending anything for now we need to just get the messages that's going to uh send only the token on our header we don't need the user we don't need the username for now although the user must be logged in for the user to even access the chat room component or the chat room send. so the first one is the token which is going to come from assigned storage we need to get the item called token. The second one is the user. We'll make use of the user in this component. Yes, well, because we need the name of the user in this component for us to know who is sending message and who is not sending message. So this one is going to pass and await assign storage dot get item. Uh, this is going to be a user. So that's how we can grab our users. So 
you can see now we are able to get our user there are some uh, states we are going to be defining some uh, couple of things we are going to uh, bring in our states so in these states it's going to be an object we need the user details make this a little it's going to be an MC string uh, we need to define the room so the room just depends on you you can I can actually make this to both skills so guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the like button if you really enjoy this video the next one is the messages so the messages that we're going to be grabbing from our api we want to populate that into this array of messages the message text is the message that we are currently sending the uh lastly we have the current user that is who is sending the message and also who we are going to be using to make sure that we align this properly the way it should take for example if i'm the receiver then uh, the incoming message might be at the right or the left just it depends on the current user so that's it now we need to populate everything that we have uh, brought in at the states so the first one is the room itself which is going to be uh, this is the state the room so in this dot props dot load messages all we are doing now is to pass our token and the name the name is going to come from the user dot name then it's going to be a callback then whenever we load the message next thing is to join the chat room so this is going to load every single messages then it's going to join our chat room so for the chat room we need the name and the room so in this one i'm just going to use the desert props dot join chat room then the chat room is going to accept the name and the room the name also from the user dot name and uh, then it's going to give us a callback which is going to set this dot current user to the user dot name so let's save that and see whether we're going to experience any problem and let's check our api and we are trying to we try to get a user first and lastly we try to log in but uh we couldn't get something from messages i guess is because we have a problem there so let's go over to our api so in our middleware socket.js we made a request to chat room so we made a request to chat room and right here i guess we should be returning an empty array because we don't have a user so let me kind of oh let me kind of console the log everything here say data mm, okay we don't have it. we don't have any message for now since we don't have any message we need to work on the inserting of a message so let's work on inserting of a message then we can check our database to see if we are able to do that then we can now grab most of those messages and then find a way to populate that in the messages array so in the input itself we are going to bring in on chain text this is going to be watching whenever a text is changed so it's called on change text so the on change text itself is going to be a function that's going to get a text then we need to call a method that we are going to create on this same component called update input then we can pass the text also whenever a user finish typing a message if the user clicks on submit button so it's called submit editing which is also going to be a give us a callback it's going to trigger a, mes a method called this dot submit message then we also need to create a button whenever the user uh, finishes to type and hits submit the value is going to be coming from because we are going to set this to a, a value state of message text so initially i just put that down so we need to get that from this message 
text. We can also uh, make reference to this because uh, we are going to be using this. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, you will understand later. Going to be a text input of input. So guys, for the text input, I think I need to get rid of it because I didn't really use it. But uh, one I made use of is the flat list. So the flat list that we brought, uh, we uh, put down at our constructor, then we need to make use of that. Let's get rid of the text input because the text input, I'm already making use of it from on change, on submit, sorry, on uh, change text, yes. So we are going to create these two uh, functions called the submit message and also the update input. So I'm going to create it above here. So it's going to be, first one is submit, submit message. And the, sec the first one uh, is, uh, let me check the first one, update input. Update input, which is just going to be function that is going to accept our text. So all this does is to set our state, our states. So it's going to be setting our state to, and let me use this to set state message text to the text that we brought in. Then for the submit message itself, uh, we are going to make this an assign function. An assign function because we want to make use of the then, then we need to grab uh, the user and the token also, because whenever the user sends a message, we need to uh, make use of the send message uh, action, that's from our auth action, chat actions, not auth actions. So over here, we get the name message, token and room, but I don't really think that we need a token. So let me get rid of this. And uh, so we need the name, the message, the date, the room, and that's all we need for the uh, send message, which is going to emit a send message on our server. So back here on our server is going to emit to this send message with all those parameters that we sent with it. And uh, definitely is going to emit that to the room and uh, get uh, send that back to us using the callback. Okay, it's not going to send it back to us, but it's going to allow us to be able to make use of a callback over here because the callback itself emits a message. Yes. So it's, it, it emits a message and we grab the message from this place. So you can see the connectivity with, between all this and uh, that's when you're using socket. So it's a whole lot of progress and a whole lot of steps you need to take in order to make sure that everything went or goes perfectly. So let's go back. So the first one we need to do is to grab the user and we, we need to use the same method that we used earlier. We need to pass the object that we are going to get from uh, our assigned storage. So if you are familiar, we are getting item of the at user. So the user itself is an object. Okay, we don't need the token. Now we need to construct our own message that we are going to uh, submit. So I'm going to select message to submit. Be an object that is going to accept a name of user.name. That's going to accept a message of, from the message text, we are getting it from the states, the date, I usually like using your own dates. You can use moments if you're familiar with moments. So I, I'm just going to say your, or let me just say subscribe to both skills. And like the video. And like the video. So guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the like button. And now uh, we need to pass the token. Of course, we are uh, sending something Okay, we didn't really make use of the token over here. We didn't make use of the token, so uh, not here. So when we sent a message, we didn't make use of the token, so we we are not gonna need that. 
but what about over here we we grab the token the token itself is coming from my sign storage so we already have a token so we are not going to be sending the token twice only once and uh, lastly we need to pass the room which is going to come from both skills so i'm just doing this this way uh in case you know, we have an error we are not going to encounter that because i don't want any any collisions but you can actually grab this from state because we define this on we, we say something like this, but for now, let me just leave it uh, for now and uh, use both skills. As well as from here, you can see same thing I, I did, but you can get the logic behind it. And lastly, we need to now send a message that we just constructed. So we need to grab this dot props dot submit message. Uh, sorry, send message, not submit message. And now uh, we pass the message to submit. Then uh, we can set states the message text to nothing. So we didn't actually uh, make use of the assign here because I, I need to put this down because of this await we are bringing in. Because if we don't put this assign here, we can't make use of this await. So. Uh, sorry for the mistake I made earlier. So I'm just going to save that. So let's save and refresh. And at our back end, let's observe what's happening. You can see we can get we can make a request to get messages because we are joined in the yeah we are joined in the chat room. But we have an error that says duplicate entry for insert into active rooms. Okay, we, we are inserting double things to both skills. So let's kind of fix that. So the alarming error is saying that we have a duplicate ID, a duplicate nine for a single, um, for a single uh, user. So uh, I'm going to try, try to see how we can solve this. So I'm going to go over to the socket itself at the add user. Uh, we don't have any conflicting things here, but I guess from the chat room itself, of course, the code is what you just saw now. I'm going to uh, totally change this. I guess from here, I'm inserting an ID by myself. So this ID um, is is a is a socket ID, and it's not it's not just a an auto increment ID. So come to the structure and click on change for the this thing. You can change this to a variable character of 250. Then you can just simply leave it as ID. But we need to untick this, untick auto increment and save that. So we just have a normal database. And I can still come over here and uh, open my this, my app. So let's save that app to see what's going to happen. But first, let's restart. So just saving that to restart our server. So it's going to make a request that's going to get the token and the user. And let's see whether we're going to have any error. So we don't have any error. You can see that. And in our database, click on the active rooms. Then you can see the ID that we got. That is our socket.id we are, we are inserting as a normal ID. So I can see you can now delete any duplicated ID you found earlier. So guys, sometimes this kind of take uh, time to really understand, especially when it comes to using sockets. So don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. That's the only way you can appreciate me. So we, are, uh, we have come to the uh, section of getting our message. Now we need to uh, start making use of everything that we got from our message. So in the next part, we are going to finalize that and that will be the end of our series.